What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Don't Stuff Reign of Giants DLC featuring Weber and a ton of mods. So many mods we can't even keep track. Oh yes, we can. Um, I added a couple new mods to the to the pack just because I thought they would be cool, and I've also decided upon the area in which I am going to build my base. You guys also might notice that I am, you know. A little nasally today that's because I have absolutely zero control over my nasal cavity that's right the mucus has moved in and if that doesn't make you gag then well you've got a pretty strong stomach not really anyways um I I digress I digress so we are going to build our base right here and the main reason for that is because it is close to two roads for one and uh, both of these roads basically lead out to all of the major resources in the map which means that we can get around uh, the place pretty quickly. However, it isn't as, you know, homey as I would like. Like, this map is really spread out for resources. We got some bee flow over here. We got all of our bees way the heck up here. And, uh, and we've got all of our cocoa beans over here. And I'm going to be trying to make as much chocolate as freaking possible. <laughs> Excuse me. I have, like I said, a little bit of a sinus congestion. Um... It's not too fun. Anyways, so yeah, we are going to start building our base here, and to get started, we're just going to pick a random place and place down a fire pit. So I should probably craft myself up an axe, so we're just going to throw down this stone because I don't need it right now. Do, 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 where, oh, where is the axe? Let's go with a luxurious axe because we're so fancy, right, guys? I'm so fancy. You already know. I'm in the fast lane from LA to Tokyo. All right, so we got ourselves some stuff here. We're gonna craft ourselves up a fire pit, place it right on the ground. Why the heck not? This is a centralized location like I've already mentioned. We're gonna grab up all of this stuff here and the other cool part about this location is you might notice right underneath my feet is some rocky turf. Rocky Turf, if you guys don't remember, is used as the major component for the recipe... What is it called? For cobblestone. Cobblestone is going to be the major thing. So as you can see here, it requires some rocky turf. And the rocky turf can only be dug up, um, you know, from the ground itself. And we've got lots of it around us. And we're going to need lots of wood to deal, like, to get ourselves some rocky turf. And the reason why we want some uh, cobblestone, if you guys don't remember that either, is because it gives us a 25% speed boost. And one thing that you're going to love... The one thing that you are going to love in most games about survival is making yourself as efficient as possible, wasting as little time as possible, because the less time that you spend doing stuff such as like walking around your base can actually lead to uh, some bonuses in time, like me just wasting some time here not doing anything is not very good, which is why I always pause the screen by going to tab, because when it comes to these things, the time is going to kill you if you do not watch out for it. So you always want to be doing something uh, efficient, except for, you know, during times that it's not very fun to go out, like nighttime and stuff like that. And when you have a lot of resources like I am starting off with right now, it doesn't really matter all that much, because it's not going to affect you near as much as as it seems like it will. Okay, how are we gonna place our chests? I think I'm just gonna place them right here. Why not? That seems like a good enough location. There we go, and then I should be able to place down some things, and uh, as always, we are going to drop our friends off here. Melvin, Charles, and Charles Jr., which we brought from our other world, by the way. If you guys were wondering why I brought them along, it's because they are fantastic, okay? They are fabulous. They are my friends, and yeah, that's the only reason I need to give you guys. So, uh, I'm gonna get started on a little bit more of the base here. I'm going to um, check out a little bit more of the area, and I'm gonna just get started on the base. I also added a, a new mod, which basically allows you to milk beefalo, and I'm gonna try and do that today. However, in order to do that, you need a beefalo hat, so we're probably gonna have to head over here and try and kill ourselves a beefalo. We might bring along some spider friends, and I'm definitely gonna have to plant down some new spider dens around just to kind of claim my territory since the spiders won't actually attack me, because um, I am Weber. So yeah, anyways, I shall be right back. 
Welcome back guys and girls, a uh, couple things I wanted to mention, for one, I am looking rather scot, like rather scottish for a spider creature boy thingy, but uh, yeah, the beard really ties together with the tam o shanter oh it looks fantastic. One thing about the beard, you might notice I had to throw on my amulet, my chilled amulet, uh, we got overly warm, even though it is in autumn, it still has a little bit of the after effects of uh, Oh, also because I had the thermal stone on, because I am a derp. Um, but it also has a little bit of a residual heat in it in the autumn season, so you can get a little bit of rain, you can get a little bit of heat. Not an over amount, uh, like an overly large amount of either one, but uh, when you're playing as Wilson and uh, Weber, they do have, you know, a little bit harder of a time, not really all that hard, uh, keeping themselves cool because, you know, they have their beards, their awesome beards that make them super awesome, even though they're probably the most boyish out of all of the other characters other than the female characters, they seem to be the only ones who, that can grow a badass beard. Um, Weber's beard, by the way, when you shave it off, gives you silk instead of, uh, instead of beard hair, which kind of sucks, to be honest, because, like, He's all about the spiders and stuff, and he'll be able to get lots and lots of silk from the spiders because they don't really hurt him, especially if he feeds them properly, so... Um, but I can understand why they did that because, you know, he's all about the silk and the spiders and stuff, which is cool. Uh, so that's one thing that I had to watch out for. The other thing that I wanted to mention is you guys are all, like, I had a couple people asking me how I get so many rocks, and all I can really say is you really have to look for them because they are scattered everywhere and in my last world I actually had like a rocky turf area that was just completely filled filled to the brim with rocks and sometimes you get lucky sometimes you get bees uh, lots and lots of bees instead of rocks but uh, there's always rocks scattered all over the map and all you have to do is just grab all of them as you can as you please um i don't actually recommend building yourself like a massive base like i had last time that's actually a pretty big waste of rocks considering giants will just run through it and uh, they're the only enemies that are really going to be attacking you in that base anyways whereas all of the hounds and stuff which by the way i should probably get ready to face because they're going to be showing up on day eight or i think like 11 or 13 is the latest and uh the hounds and other creatures like that, you're basically just going to kite them through your little hound tooth pit, so there's no real point in using all of the rocks like the, I did, and that actually hurt me. So like this time around, I think I'm going to be um, not building so much of a base. I might build something to like protect my stuff. I might build like a vault or something like over here, and I'll just never go to it until I need those stuff. So I'll have like a surplus of items over there that I will not touch. And that way, uh, if anything goes horribly wrong, I can just rush over there, get my items, and I'll be in a good scenario. But uh, we're not going to be doing that for quite some time, which is quite alright with me. Uh, anyways, the other thing that I wanted to mention is I have a mod, if I can add a few, that uh, basically after a set amount of time, if you feed some, some logs to a fire, and I... Uh, right after I told you guys about me overheating, um, I go and do this. But uh, basically, if I feed some logs to a fire of after a certain amount of time, I should be able to harvest it, as you can see here, harvest fire pit. And when I do that, it's actually going to give me some charcoal and some ashes. That time I gave me one charcoal and two ashes, because I already had some in my inventory. Actually, I think it might have been two charcoal. And it basically uh, it reduces the amount of fire that I have, but... Um, but it gives me charcoal and ashes, that way I don't have to go around burning trees. And it's a lot less expensive, because that gave me two charcoal for, I think, like, three wood. Whereas burning down an entire tree is, like, a sapling, and then you have to go with, like, the highest amount of wood you can get from a tree, which is four. So it's four wood and one sapling per one of those things, and that's just ridiculous. Also, I think there's another cocoa tree there. So, yeah, that's a that's another mod that I recently added in uh, in between this ep episode and the uh, and the last one. So, yeah, that's really nice because that way we can get ourselves. Uh, I don't really care too much about the ashes, to be honest, but that way you don't have to waste any items just burning stuff up, and that way we can get ourselves a 
crockpot, which we're going to need. I think I already have one of these built, too. Yeah, I did. Well, look at that. Look at me, Mr. Prepared. But that is a very easy way of getting a crockpot, which we are definitely going to need. And I always put my crockpot really close to my fireplace. Uh, the main reason for that is because I do all of my cooking and crafting during the nighttime because there's not much that you can do during the night. I ate all of my food, unfortunately, and uh, it got me all the way up to my 175 that I'm normally at. But uh, as you can see, we're, we're really low now. So yeah, we're definitely going to need the crockpot. I'm going to have to get myself some more food. And uh, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to wait out the night and then I'm going to meet you guys over and we're going to go fight ourselves some beefalo. So I shall be right back. Of course, before we can uh, fight the beefalo, we're going to need a little bit of spider help. We don't have any food for the spiders right now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to plant down some... Um, some of these things, two of these uh, these little spider dens that we had, by the way, are from our Wigfrid playthrough, so I kind of brought them along. It feels a little cheaty, but at the same time, it feels so right. So, uh, there's a bit of a problem with, uh, with Weber. You can't really farm spiders the normal way that you would. Uh, the main reason for that is because you can't just step on their web and then have a trap on the ground for them. So if I go and place that down... Um, it's not going to attract any spiders. I'm not going to be able to harvest any spiders, which we kind of need to do because in order to get spiders on our team to fight the beefalo, we're going to need some food. And in order to, you know, get food, we kind of need to fight the beefalo. So we're in an infinite loop. So I think what I might do is I might head down here and uh, see if I can't, you know, lure out some spiders and fight some spiders. Because spiders are definitely easier to deal with than beefalo are. Now, I'm not going to fight these spiders that I placed down because, uh, well, there's three of them together. And that could get pretty hairy pretty fast. Haha, -ha, spider jokes. <laughs> Anyways, that was some racking right there. There we go. And now all we have to do... Oh, is fail horribly at catching everything. And then forget how we attack. Because I haven't played this game in forever. Okay, and there we go. We got ourselves a little bit of uh, monster meat. And I apologize for it. Ah, that, that. Okay, so there's no more in there. Um... I thought I would get a little bit more than that, but I guess that should be okay. I might actually go and uh, disobey what I just said, and let's just heal ourselves up really quick. There we go. And actually attack these from, like, afar or something. Boom, and then we gotta catch it. There we go. And then we gotta dodge, dodge, one, two. Dodge, one, two. Grab, grab. There we go. And that should give us enough uh, for a... Spider army. I think only two spiders should do it. Um, hey, guys. Sorry for your killing your base. Okay, dodge, dodge. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. We're going to dodge their attacks. And then we got to... Oh, for crying out. And we're going to take damage. Even though I want to feed you stuff. Hey, you. Are you with me now? I think he is. Okay. He's just weird. Yeah, he's, he's just scared. I don't know. I think he's scared of the daytime, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's up with these spiders, man. They're crazy. They're crazy. Alright, so we're gonna attack this again, and oh, I just realized my spider is going to get deer. Okay, let's go this way. Let's go this way. This way, this way, this way. Come on, spiders. They should teleport to me eventually, but I don't want them attacking that den because they're gonna be idiots about it and get into a massive fight, and then it's going to be not so fun for me. Because I am the only one who is not the victor in that scenario. I need to... Ooh, look at that. That's perfect. I get out of here. Oh, it's spoiled too. Okay, I might be able to get some more spiders out of this. But I think we're going to just head over... Oh, that's a lot of pigs. No, don't, no. Ah, oh, I think we just lost our, our spiders. Okay, you're going, you're going to miss me, and then I'm going to uh, kick the crap out of you. You're going to miss again, and then I'm going to kick the crap out of you. One. There we go. Aw, oh, man. You couldn't give me anything useful? Okay, he doesn't want me. Now he does. Now he wants my butt. Nope. Oh, oh, oh. They're playing around with me. They're playing around with me. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do, man. He missed. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, oh. Uh, torch is low, but I must defend. But but the torch, but the I I must defend. 
Oh, he actually got me that time. One, two. Oh, he got me that time. Okay, there we go. Got him. Save the king. I'm protect. Oh, he actually got me. Okay, we are taking a large amount of damage because I just realized we are out of the log suit. I don't want to die. So I'm just going to leave for now. I'm going to get myself a little bit more situated with... Uh, Oh my goodness, I don't have any health, I don't have any food, what am I doing with my life? Alright, so I think I'm going to have to uh, this up right now before we die, and I am goofing so hard. By the way, we can actually eat monster meat without losing any sort of health, except I don't think we should be eating it raw anyway, so we're just going to eat it like this. There we go, that gets us up to 58. Um, okay, they didn't actually end up killing it, which is good. I wonder if I can feed pigskin to them. Yeah, I can. Cool. All right, that's really cool. Um, because hmm, I've got more pigskin than I do anything else. All right. Well, anyways, I am going to wait until the daytime again, and then we are going to try and get ourselves a beefalo once again. So I shall be right back. Okay, attempt number two. Ah, uh, we're gonna get stopped by this guy again, aren't we? Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Just kill him! Oh, he actually hit me! Why is he hitting- why is he hitting me? Okay, that- that was really weird. Um, no, that's mine. You're not allowed that. I'm sorry, guy. Okay, we are at two health. This is not good. Um, we're gonna die on our first day, watch. This is gonna be fantastic. Our seventh day, I should say. Okay, I am going to attack one of these guys and it's going to start a massive war do not die to your boomerang there we go run run you fool fly fly you fool okay and then we've got this one guy he is lured away from the rest of his guys no you're mine catch the boomerang yes you fool okay i gotta go i gotta go this way and then i gotta bring him into the spiders please don't hit me oh this is not a good idea i think i might just head home Spiders, please attack him. Catch your boomerang, you fool. Spiders are not very good, man. Oh, this sucks. I'm gonna die. Spiders, attack it. There we go. Yeah, perfect. All right. I'm just gonna sit back here, relax, maybe, uh, maybe contemplate how much I am dying and laugh at this poor beefalo who is fighting off my spiders, and I think my spiders are actually losing which is terrible, but, oh, no, no, that's my food, my food, no, they ate all my food, you jerks, I'm gonna have to convert you into poop now, oh, man, that's not cool, ah, oh, we didn't even get a beefalo horn, okay, so, in order to milk a beefalo, if you guys don't know, because you're not familiar with a mod like me, um, in order to convert, uh, like, milk a beefalo, you need to have beefalo hat, and, Oh my goodness, I am not ending this episode until I milk a beefalo, I swear. So we're gonna need a beefalo hat in order to milk a beefalo. Now, um, oh, well, one of my spiders just died. Uh, this is a lovely chance, though, to show you guys another one of the mods that I added. It's uh, called the Auto Retrap Mod. Basically, it's just like it said, if there's anything in the trap, it will automatically replant it exactly where it was. Oh yeah, get myself some more health, and if it's empty, you'll just be able to pick it up in your inventory. I thought it was really cool because it, um, it was one of my major pet peeves is, you know, always having to replace my trap, and in this way, I don't have to, which is awesome. This is normally an inventory issue when you have to do that. Um, that was really, really unsuccessful. I am probably going to die now of starvation, although I do have some seeds, so I'm probably going to have to forage around, and I shall be right back once I am ready for attempt number, like, 34. Nah, attempt number three. Anyways, let's, let's go. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, I have to go back on my word to, uh, milk a beefalo today, because... Well, as you can see, we are really low on health, and I am really low on time. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to end the episode here. And we will pick up our relentless pursuit of the beefalo milk another time. So, I uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode half as much as I did making it. I hope to get a little bit better before the next time that I record. Because, oh my goodness, is it ever hard to uh, continue to talk when everything is going against your respiratory system um but yeah i hope to see you guys in the next episode until next time
Bye.